are weeks out from the general election, and while the ballot is packed with federal, state, and local races, the governor's race is getting top billing. As we continue our promise to help you get to know your candidates, Pro News 7's Emily Bauckham shows us how the polls are tipping and if things could change with just 32 days until Election Day. After 14 years in office, Governor Rick Perry is passing the torch. I will not seek re-election as governor of Texas. It's a moment for Democrats to seize, but according to the polls... In a red state, Greg Abbott is ahead. He's ahead comfortably. A Texas Lyceum poll released Wednesday puts Abbott nine points ahead of Democratic contender Wendy Davis. That's a slight improvement for Davis, who was 12 points behind Abbott in a June UT Texas Tribune poll. I think we've had very little change in any significant way since the race began, and I don't anticipate to change that much more in the last five weeks. Straight talk from David Crockett, the chair of Trinity University's political science department. And no matter which way you say it, because it's a red state, it's a conservative state, it's a Republican state. Crockett says it's Abbott's race to win. It doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how important or how big the debate was or what kind of rhetoric is being used or how great a campaign ad, there are a larger and larger number of people who have made up their mind and are not going to change it. The governor's race is one of nearly 40 statewide races, none of which a Democrat has won since 1994. If that streak ends in November, that might be the canary in the mine that change is starting. And Davis could have a role in that, even in a loss. But if she loses by seven points or six points or five points, uh, that shows you that there may be a light at the end of a very long tunnel where Democrats are seeing some possible progress. Emily Balkum, Pro News 7.